Hey, this is Lee from Tillman, and today we're looking at the Zebra ZD420D, which is the direct thermal version of this printer, as opposed to the thermal transfer version of this printer. So once you've got it out of the box, got your power adapter, plug your power cord tight into the power adapter. You want to plug this little circle end into the circle port on the printer. Don't want to plug in the USB yet, just the power. Going to take these two yellow slides and pull them forward and then you can lift the printer up. Printer lid up I should say. It's going to sit the label roll in. This will take the big circle or you can use the smaller centre core labels. Make sure it folds through there. And that's it. What you have to do then is close the lid. There's no feeding through any difficult slots or anything like that like you get with some of the smaller printers. Once you've got that, hold down the power button until the lights come on. Give it a little bit to think about it. Middle button here is the feed button. You press that, it should feed out one label each time like that. And not to the middle of the label, just to the edge. That shows it's detecting the edge. We don't need to do any calibration or anything. It's already figured it out, which is good. Now we need to set up the software. So to get the software, open your web browser of choice. We've got Google Chrome, could be Safari or whatever you want to use. And you're going to go to www.zebra.com slash zd420d-info. Press enter and it should take you to the Zebra ZD420 page we've got here. If you scroll down, the software that you want is here under drivers, Z Designer V8 driver for Windows. So some instructions tell you to get setup utilities, that doesn't work properly with this printer on Windows 10, so this is the one you want. Click on download and then accept and begin download now. And you'll see that downloads to the bottom corner here. Just click on that. And then say yes. And that starts installing the Z Designer drivers that we need for Windows to use this printer. So we'll go next. And I have read the information. Next. And then finish. Next. And we're installing a printer driver. We can accept that. Go next. It's for the USB port. Please connect the printer to the USB port. Okay, so next thing we do is get the cable that came with the printer. We have one of those on one end and that on the other end. This end goes into the printer. Oh, you want to turn it off first. You don't really want to plug things into it while it's running. So we'll just hold down the power button until the red lights come up. That turns the power off. And then we can plug the USB cable in and plug the other end into your computer. Close that up. It didn't do the ding ding noise and do the auto install, but we'll just see. We turn the power on will probably help. Should have installed the drivers for it anyway. We'll just have a quick look into the Windows settings. Go to devices. What we're looking for is in printers and scanners is where we want to see the Zebra printer. And there it is there. Okay, cool. So we click on there. Then we can go manage. You want to go printer properties. 
Now what we need to do here is set up our label size. So we click on stocks and then new. We want to call this one barcode labels. Or just barcode or whatever's going to help you remember that these are the labels for it helps if I spell it properly, put a D in there, barcode labels. Okay, so the label width, you want to make sure this is 51 by 25. So, got 5.1 centimetres by 2.5 centimetres. And go OK on that. That gives us barcode labels, and if you're doing shipping labels as well, you can go new here and call this one shipping or courier labels or whatever you want to call them. And I'm trying to remember the size, I think it's 104 by 159. You'd have to check and see what size of labels you're using, but. I think these are the ones I've got. That might be supposed to be around the other way, but anyway, we'll see what it, how it works out. Okay, cool. So we've got our stock set up in there. At that point, we can go OK. And then you're going to want to open your browser again. I'm going to show you how to set this up in Shopify now. So if you're using a different POS system, then this is not going to apply to you, but there will be a way that you do a similar thing. Oh, got a runaway keyboard. I'm going to go to my Shopify admin. So yeah, if you're using Venpos or something like that, I know in Venpos you go into the product and you print your labels from within the product. At least that's how it always used to work. I'll have to have a look now that it's changed to light speed and see if it's the same. But in Shopify you want to go into your apps. We're going to be using the Retail Barcode Labels app. So you need to download that from the App Store if you don't already have it. And then you're going to create a template. And the label size you want to use is the Zebra 51 by 25. So that one there, 2 inch by 1 inch. And then over on this side, you can decide what you want to be displayed on the label. Like I don't use SKU, so I would get rid of that. So I've just got my name, price, and the barcode on my labels. That looks pretty good to me. So, we're going to give it a title and call it, I think I've used just about every name, but we'll call it uh, Zebra, Zebra5125. But you can of course use anything you want there. That's created my template, so if we look down at our templates here, this one here is the one I just created. So then we go print labels. I'm going to print them out for this product here. The 10.2 inch iPad stand. And the label template is the one we just made, that one there. And we want to print five labels. Set to the zebra printer, it's set to 2 inch by 1 inch or 51 by 25 millimeters. Scale set to 100%. Should be ready to go. So if we go print 5 labels, we get the Windows print preview screen. Make sure we've got our paper size here set to barcode labels that we just created. Looks pretty good on the preview. Uh, you can set the scale to um, custom 100% if you want to, but your default should work. I usually go custom, make sure it's on 100, and then go print. 
and you'll see that the idea was there but it's printed in the wrong way so I think that's just a case of portrait or printing in portrait or landscape so if we go print using system dialogue oh, wrong preferences for the Z designer and if we go landscape there That's more like it. There we go. Those are the labels that we were looking for. So if you've got any questions, please get in touch. Thanks.